Whittier, welcome back to my Whittier TV. Today we have a very short video for you, but it's a good one. We are talking Whittier Parks, parks here in Whittier, California. Now, if you're a local or a Whittier resident, you are familiar with the larger parks, Michigan Park, Penn Park, Parnell Park, uh, Palm Park, Sorensen Park, but uh, many of you are not aware of the obscure parks, the smaller parks, the hidden parks here in Whittier. So we're gonna cover four of those at the end of the video. Let me know which one was your favorite. But uh, we're gonna take a look at four obscure parks here in Whittier, California. Check this out. All right, our first stop brings us to 7227 Whittier Avenue, Whittier, California, 90602. This is the Whittier School District building. The school was dedicated in 1915, and we believe it was built in the 1920s. It is a thing of beauty. Uh, thank you to local history librarian Rachel Fiore and Fu Hauser for giving me the deets on this. But look at that. It is a beautiful backdrop to our first park here, John Greenleaf Whittier Park. And uh, this is an obscure park. It's off the beaten path, and surprisingly, it doesn't get a lot of play. I mean, this is the namesake of the town john greenleaf park and there's a softball field back there my wife said that when she was a small child she would uh, play softball back in that park and as you can see the building is the perfect backdrop to this park it is not too big but not very small either it's just beautiful they got barbecues and um, seating areas so you can have a little party there they have a play area and it is a really nice park and all of the Whittier Parks and Recs employees keep all of these parks in great condition. There is a spray pool for when it gets hot this summer. But yeah, John Greenleaf Park is a good one, guys. If you ever get a chance, check it out. All right, next up is Leffingwell Ranch Park, 10537 Santa Gertrudis Avenue, Whittier, California, 90603. Uh, you can also reach this park on Starbucks Street. And wow, this is a truly hidden park. I had no idea that this park even existed until I did a little research. You can do uh, barbecuing here. They got lighted tennis courts, picnic tables, play equipment, and restrooms. But just a small little park not much going on but it's tucked away between the ymca and the whittier library and um, they have some great benches and a little play area but mainly these great tennis courts that are available during the day and like i said they're lighted at night these would make great pickleball courts i know that's a big sport happening right now but yeah leffingwell ranch park if you're a tennis player uh, you can come down here and uh, get a couple games in check it out All right, Laurel Park, 8825 Jackmore Avenue, Cross Street, Carnell Avenue, Whittier, California, 90605. Open from sunrise to 10 p.m. Picnic tables, play equipment, and restrooms. A very small park, but if you've never been here, it's a great place to bring a small child. You could play on the swing set and just hang out for a little bit. It is a very quiet and beautiful park. As I mentioned before, the Parks and Recs guys really do a great job here in Whittier keeping our parks clean. Check out this one. It's a beauty. Okay, next up is Anaconda Park, 14575 Anaconda Street. Uh, cross Street is Ben-Hur Avenue, Whittier, California, 90603. Open from sunrise to sunset. This is a very large park. I was surprised to see how big this park actually was, and it is a beauty. It's a really nice park. It has a lot of amenities, and uh, as you can see here, it has a very large play area. That is really cool and uh, great restrooms if you need those also they have fitness stations throughout the park if you like to exercise out in the open air this would be a great place to do that they also have a great jogging trail that you can uh, jog around the park on this trail and if you want to stay safe you could do that here at this park some of these trees could use a little more love but hey overall it's a really really nice park they have um, like i said the jogging area throughout the park so that's really cool and picnic tables somebody was actually setting up to have their party here today so that's nice get here early and set up uh, for your party and they have basketball courts which is nice they got two hoops where you could play on 
and uh, overall this is actually one of my favorite parks if you get a chance come and check out anaconda park well there you have it guys four obscure whittier parks here in whittier california four off the beaten path parks here in whittier now which one was your favorite park let me know in the comments which one was your favorite i would have to say that um john greenleaf park is my favorite that one doesn't get a lot of love here in the city surprisingly that is such a cool little park with the 1920s building in the backdrop that is absolutely amazing you guys know i'm a sucker for a beautiful building so that was my favorite let me know which one was yours make sure and subscribe to the channel guys we are closing in on 6,000 subs and uh wow that is absolutely amazing for a local channel like ours to hit 6,000 subs so that would be really cool i would really appreciate it and as always thank you for the support thanks for watching i gotta go because we're gonna start planning next week's video so thank you for joining me i'll catch you next time here guys on my with your tv we'll see ya hey as usual thank you so much for watching the video i really appreciate it make sure to like and subscribe and if you have time watch another video